Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, He gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. With the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries, the first joyful mystery. The Annunciation Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And bless this the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. 
the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The litany in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of Our Creator, pray for us. Mother of Our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of Our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, Pray for us. Mystical Rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of Ivory. Pray for us. House of Gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. 
Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, resurrection has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as, as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturdays. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let, let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us sing, sing to the, to the Lord, Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. 
Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the, the flock His shepherds. Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meriba and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord as we keep this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please be seated. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariots he casts into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise Him. The God of my Father, I extol Him. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is His name. Fairest chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the water is piled up. The flowing water is stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sunk in the mighty waters. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness, O terrible in renown, worker of wonders? When you stretch out your hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy, you led the people you redeemed. In your strength, you guided them to your holy dwelling. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in the unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. As King Antiochus was traversing the inland provinces, he heard that in Persia, 
there was a city called Elimias, famous for its wealth in silver and gold, and that its temple was very rich, containing gold hamlets, breastplates, and weapons, left there by Alexander, son of Philip, king of Macedon, the king, first king of the Greeks. He went therefore and tried to capture and pillage the city, but he could not do so, because his plan became known to the people of the city, who rose up in battle against him. So he retreated, and in great dismay, withdrew from there to return to Babylon. While he was in Persia, a messenger brought him news that the armies sent into the land of Judah had been put to flight. So Lysias had gone at first with a strong army and been driven back by the children of Israel, that they had grown strong by reason of arms, men, and abundant possessions taken from the armies that they had destroyed, that they had pulled down the abomination which he had built upon the altar in Jerusalem, and that they had surrounded with high walls both the sanctuary as it had been before, and the city at Beth Zur. When the king heard the news, he was struck with fear and very much shaken. Seek with grief because his designs had failed, he took on his bed. There he remained many days, overwhelmed with sorrow, for he knew he was going to die. So he called all his friends and said to them, Sleep has departed from my eyes, for my heart is sinking with anxiety. I said to myself, Into what tribulation have I come, and in what floods of sorrow am I now? Yet I was kindly and beloved in my room, but I know, but I now recall the evils I did in Jerusalem, when I carried away all the vessels of gold and silver that were in it and for no cost, gave orders for the inhabitants of Judah be destroyed. I know that this is why these evils have overtaken me, and now I am dying in bitter grief in a foreign land. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exalt in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. Because my enemies are turned back, overthrown and destroyed before you. Rebu you rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor shall the hope of the afflicted forever perish. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord, this time. Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brothers. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage they can no longer die for they are like angels and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise that the dead will rise even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called Lord the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and he is not God of the dead but God of the living for to him all are alive some of the scribes said in reply Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary in Manawag. Ako po'y nagagalak sapagkat nagkatitipon tayo ngayon. Medyo puno po yung ating basilika. Imagine nyo yun, napakaaga pa lang po talaga nagtsatsaga tayong pumunta dito sa, sa basilika. Ibig sabihin nito, eh, nananatili ang pananampalataya. If this is a good sign. A good sign na nananatili o di kayo lumalakas ang pananampalataya. Basta lang po, ingat, patuloy yung ating pag-iingat sa ating pagtitipon dito sa loob ng Basilika. Well, speaking of pananampalataya, mga kapatid, mahalaga yung tinatawag nating salitang transcendence. Sa pananampalataya po, mahalaga yung transcendence. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng salitang transcendence? It is actually a human ability. It is a human ability to go beyond the Gobian physical realities. Yun yung tinatawag natin, transcend. Kaya pag sinasabi natin, you learn, you need to transcend. Ibig sabihin, you learn to go beyond the realities around us. At mahalaga po yun sa pananampalataya, mga kapatid. Because transcendence gives meaning. Yun ang bibigyan ng halaga. Halimbawa, Yung ating pagtitipon ngayon sa loob ng Basilika, hindi lang simple yung pagtitipon. Yung pagpunta natin dito sa Basilika, hindi lang tipong pagpunta at pagpapasyal. Mas naging mahalaga at makahulugan ang ating pagpunta sa Basilika if we learn to transcend. Going beyond sa pagtitipon. Alam natin na ang pagpunta dito ay hindi lang isang pagtitipon, tayo'y natitipon sa Eucharistia. Anong ibig sabihin ni Eucharistia? 
that is something beyond human knowledge. Medyo mataas po. Hindi po tu tulu tuluyang na nauunawaan ng, ng pag-iisip lamang. Yung pagtitipo natin sa banal na misa, ito yung nagbibigay halaga ng ating pagpunta dito sa basilika. Kaya mas naging makahulugan ang ating pagpunta dito sa basilika. Nagbibigay halaga. Going beyond physical realities. Well, speaking of physical realities, mahalaga din yun. In fact, dapat doon magsisimula ang lahat. Physical realities dapat magsisimula. We need to get in touch with them as well. Sapagkat ito yung mahalaga naman when it comes to knowledge. Sabi nga ni Saint Thomas Aquinas, mahalaga ito sapagat lahat nagsisimula sa realities na magbubuo sa ating kaalaman. Pero sabi ko nga po, pananampalataya ang pinag-uusapan. Sa pananampalataya, hindi dapat magtatapos lamang sa realities or sa knowledge or logical. Dapat katapat nito ay yung transcendence. At doon mo makikita yung halaga ng pananampalataya. So kung dito yung knowledge, pagiging logical, dapat samahan natin ito ng pananampalataya. Yung abilidad ng pag-transcend. At doon mo makikita ang kahalaga ng pananampalataya. Sapagkat sa pananampalataya, doon mo makikita ang Diyos. Kaya sa ikwento ng Ibanghelyo, hindi nagkatugma yung dalawang pag-iisip. Andito yung mga Sadducees. Ito yung mga taong galit kay Jesus, hindi naniniwala kay Jesus. At dito si Jesus. Sa mga taong ito, hindi naniniwala kay Jesus. Lalong-lalo na sa, sa teaching on, on resurrection. Very logical yung kanilang pag-iisip. In fact, consistent nga sila eh. Sapagkat ang pinag-uusapan ay tungkol sa marriage, sa kasal, very consistent yung kanilang pag-iisip. Consistent sila sa old law na sabi, sinasabi sa, mga, sa lumang tipan, sa noo, mga batas noon, sinaunang batas, na kapag ang isang asawa ay namatay, dapat yung kapatid ang sasalo at siyang magsilbing magulang ng mga anak. Logical. Tama. Pero mga kapatid, dapat sa pananampalataya at lalong-lalo na yung pinag-uusapan sa Ebanghelyo ay tungkol sa resurrection. Yung buhay matapos sa mundo, paglalakbay. Ay dapat transcendence yung mangingibabaw doon. Papasok yung transcendence. Kaya yung sagot ni Jesus, napakaganda. Transcendence. Sinasabi niya, mga kapatid, pagdating sa langit, wala nang division. Oo, dito sa mundo, andun yung realidad ng kasal. In fact, sa ngayon, nag-evolve na nga yung usapang kasal eh. Hindi na po applicable yun. Sa ngayon, sa kasal, sa batas ng sinbahan, sinasabi, meron tayong tinatawag na affinity. Ano yung affinity? Yung relasyon ng asawa sa mga kapatid at relatives ng asawa mo. At sa batas, sinasabi na the marital relationship does not cease even after the death of your spouse. Na kahit namatay yung asawa mo, hindi mo pwede pakasalan yung kapatid ng asawa. Noon, sabi ko nga po, logical sila, but then, teka, yung pinag-uusapan, yung buhay sa kabilang mundo, sa, sa pagkatapos ng, bu, ng mundong paglalakbay. At sinasabi ni Jesus, napakalinaw, sa langit, pantay-pantay. Sa langit, iisa ang tinitignan. Sa langit, lahat buo at ganap ang buhay. Wala ka nang hahanap-hanapin pa. Hindi mo na kinakailangan yung asawa. Hindi mo kailangan hanapin kung sino yung mga kapamilya mo. Sapagkat pagdating sa langit, iisa lang ang tinitignan ang Diyos. 
At yun ang sinasabi ng ating pananampalataya, mga kapatid. At nabubuo lamang ito kapag andun yung transcendence sa ating pananampalataya. Mahalaga po iyon. Oo, mahalaga yung pagiging logical. Mahalaga yung realities. Pero teka, meron pa mas mahalaga niyan. Iangat natin yung pananampalataya. Sapagat doon natin mas mahalaga at nakikita ang Diyos. Halimbawa, paano makikita ang Diyos sa isang bagay na ginagawa mo kapag wala kang pananampalataya? Kapag napapansin mo na ang nakikita mo sa pang-araw-araw na buhay mo ay tila baga mga pera lamang, interest lamang, paano ka kumita, at doon nagtatapos lamang, ibig sabihin, lumalab, humihina yung pananampalataya. Kaya ito yung hamon sa ating lahat. Paano mo paaangatin ang pananampalataya habang patuloy kang nabubuhay dito sa mundo? Paano mo pananatalihin ang pananampalataya habang nagkakaroon ka ng business? May tindahan ka? May trabaho ka? Paano mo paaangatin ang pananampalataya? Kapag nakikita mo ang Diyos sa ginagawa mo, at kapag nakakalimutan mo na ang Diyos, kung sa anong meron ka, ibig sabihin, humihinat, bumababa ang pananampalataya. Kaya ito yung hamon sa atin sa Ibanghelyo. Transcend. Isipin mo na yung business, anong biyaya meron ka. These are opportunities to help other people. Hindi dapat yung mag-accumulate ka magpapakasasa ka. No. Iangat natin ang pananampalataya, mga kapatid. At kapag angat ang pananampalataya sa gitna ng pagiging abundat sa buhay, abah, mas maging makahulugan ang mga biyayang ito kapag naibahagi mo sa katwa. Nakikita mo ang Diyos. Transcendence is very important in our faith. Because transcendence leads to real transformation. Kapag hindi ka nababago sa pananampalataya mo, kulang ng transcendence. Ito yung mga tipong simbanga ng simba, dasal ng dasal, hindi man lang nagbabago, nakakalungkot. Transcendence will lead you sa tunay na pagbabago. Mas nangingibabaw yung yung, yung kapayapaan, mas nangibabaw yung pag-asa. Kaya matitignan mo eh, yung mga taong mataas ang pananampalataya, ito yung ganito. Ako, ang dami ko na nakitang ganitong tao. Pumasok sa simbahan, umiiyak, masama ang loob, nasaktan, sinaktan, iniwan. Pagpasok sa simbahan, nagdasal, transcend, paglabas, mapayapa. Pumasok sa simbahan, sinaktan, umiyak, iniwanan, niloko, pinabayaan. Pumasok sa simbahan, nagdasal, umangat ang pananampalataya, transcend, lubabas sa simbahan, mapayapa. Pinatawad ang taong nagkasala sa kanya. Pumasok sa simbahan, adon nagpasalamat sa Diyos. Salamat Lord sa mga blessings. Tapos kita mo, madalas ito ah, ito yung mga eksena dito sa, sa manawag. Nag-donate ng kahit simpleng, kahit sabihin natin, hindi kalakihang pera. Nag-donate. Kung titignan mo, nabawasan yung income. Nabawasan ng pera. Bagkos lumabas sa simbahan, umuwi, mapayapa, masaya. Transcend. At yun yung invitasyon sa ating lahat, mga kapatid, sa linggong ito. Transcendence sa ating pananampalataya. Bukas po ay pagdiriwang natin ang Christ the King. Mahalaga po iyon. Huling linggo ng ordinary time. Anong ibig sabihin ng Christ the King? Malalim. Mataas. Pero nauunawaan yan natin kapag may transcendence, we go beyond it with our faith telling us that Christ is the King 
above anything else, Christ must be the first. Transcendence. We all stand and all together we pray for our friends and our communities and for every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may continue to preach the good news of the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the homeless, and the needy may experience the Lord of life and the love and generosity of those who are kind to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, for our relatives, benefactors and friends, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Ruma Biara Santo Dominicus, Indonesia, St. Dominic, Sri Lanka, Antoninus, General Santos and Davao, Kamigin and Kalayan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Father Norberto Castillo O.P., who is celebrating his birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find joy in the certain hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Nawag, and for the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living, may this Eucharist give us longing for eternal banquet which you have prepared for us, where we will enjoy the happiness of your presence forevermore. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just of our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, Jesus Christ. And through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. All stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other our sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Disney. Eh. We shall pray the credo of stewardship all together. I believe in the God of love, the, the owner of everything, everything, who possesses everyone. I, I believe in the God, God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward, steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. Church. In spite of who I am and what, what I have done, done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows, he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving, and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and the perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs, and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant deal. Much is asked of me because as much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised to hold that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily in the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Marami salamat po sa inyong pakikisa nito ating banal na misa. Sa mga sumasabaybay online, makakaasa po kami kayo ng inyong mga panalangin, ng aming mga panalangin sa inyong mga intensyon sa misang ito. The Lord be with you. And with and your Almighty spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Gagawin po natin ngayon yung blessing of the sick and blessing ng ating mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother 
Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.